Hey guys, it's me, Dave. I'm here at Roanoke Park on a beautiful spring day in Kansas City. And today I want to teach you how to make a flower bracelet. And in fact, a flower is a very useful balloon design to know. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. All you're going to need is a single balloon and a balloon pump. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is pump up your balloon. Don't pump it up too much, only about halfway there. That's about two or so pumps on the little green pump. We're going to tie a knot right over there. Now, you want to make sure that your balloon is squishy when you're working with it. When you first blow up your balloon, it can be really, really tight. But if you fold the balloon over in half, give the whole thing a good squish. Wah! Whoa, that's pretty cool. Yes. Now, all of a sudden, the balloon is extra soft and squishy. All right, now, when you're making your flower, it's important to get your petals the right size. You don't want them too big. You don't want them too small. You want to get them just right. And for me, that's usually about three of my fingers if I fold it over right there. Now, I've got the knot of the balloon pinched nice and tight in my hand right over here. I'm going to bring my fingers across over here to pinch over here as well. We pinch and twist on the little loop right there. Twist it around just like that. So we should end up with a little tiny flower petal just like that. You can make as many petals as you want on your flower. You can make one petal. You can make two, three, four, five, six, or seven if you can get all the way up there. And it's all exactly the same as the first step. You fold the balloon over just about three fingers or so. Pinch and squish right there and twist the pedal around. Now you want to be careful, don't let this pedal twist too. We want to only twist this pedal right here. Give it a good twist all the way around three or four times. There we go. All right, now we're just going to continue that method all the way on. Fold the balloon over, squish it down in the middle, and twist the flower petal around. Now, once you get to three petals, it can start to become really difficult to twist the flower petal because all those other petals are bunched up in the middle. So it's a lot easier to actually squish the balloon in the middle and twist the end of the balloon around through the center of the flower. Keep that petal nice and stationary while you do it. And then we pull the balloon out here to the side, right here coming out in between two petals. Fold the balloon over, squish it down in the middle, roll and repeat, just like that. All the way through, and again we end up sticking out in between two petals, just like that. All right, so now we are at five petals. At this point, it's probably starting to get really crowded in the center of your flower, but that's okay. Keep going. Don't worry, you can usually get up to six petals pretty easily. Now, in order to get that many petals, however, you want to make sure the balloon is nice and soft and squishy. If it's too tight, it's not going to work. So I'm going to fold over a sixth petal right there. And I'm going to stop real quick to talk about hair bands. Earlier in the kitchen, I made one of these. This uses a little flower, just like the one we're making right now. And I put a cool little smiley print on the top there. But on the bottom, we have a hair band. Now, Alberto Nava is a balloon artist who, a few years ago, released a DVD all about incorporating hair bands into your balloon twisting work. And I love doing it. The thing I noticed is that if your flower only has five or six petals, the hair band can sometimes wedge itself in between the two petals. Now, this flower, as you'll see, has actually seven petals. That's an awful lot. But because there's seven petals there, they're all locked together in really nice and tight and squished in compact. And this hair band can't wedge itself in between, which makes the balloon sit really nicely when you put it on someone's head. That brings us back to our seven petal flower, or it's a six petal flower right now. We're gonna add that seventh petal. So, as before, we wanna make sure the balloon is coming out in between two petals. We fold that balloon over for that last and seventh petal. Squish it down in there, you can do it. Twist the balloon around through the middle. And finally, on the last step, we'll have the balloon coming out down through the bottom instead of coming out in between two petals. go. There is all seven petals. So once you've got that cool flower, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. You can add a little flower bracelet. So once you've got that cool flower, you can add stuff to it. Put a wristband on it with a little center. 
You can put a smiley face and put it on a hairband. You can even make a classic balloon doggy and put it on a bracelet. There are so many fun and fantastic opportunities, cool stuff to do with balloons. A balloon is no fun unless you find somebody to give it to. Let's see if we can find someone to give these to. Cool. Let's see. Oh, you guys get to pick. So you, you want the smiley face, puppy dog, flower bracelet. Like puppy dog, we'll check it out. So it's a bracelet, you can put it on there. And if you wiggle your hand, it'll dance. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> happy face, well, check this out. This looks really awesome because it's like a happy face antenna that goes on your head. And then you can communicate to outer space happy face guys. It's pretty cool. High five. Hello, five. All right. Say thank you. Cool. Thank you guys. <laughs> Am I on? Oh. Hey guys, I'm just jumping in here real quick to let you know that all of my videos are supported by my patrons over at patreon.com slash davebrenn. If you would like to support this and future videos, please be consider... <laughs> the link for my Patreon is in the description and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. You'd actually be amazed how much it really does help me out. I appreciate you.